Those hoop tunnels are probably the best investment that I've ever made since I started doing this channel. But I have a few messages from people asking me what I used to make those tunnels and how I made them. And although that I've already made a video on that, people can't seem to find it. So I thought it'd be a lot easier for me to bring that video back to you. And update it a little bit as well. Because there's certain things that I was told weren't quite clear in that video that I made a while ago. Like the metal piping that I push into the ground to hold the blue piping in place. Which is basically just these old greenhouse stands. The ends of these stands are made of plastic and they become brittle after a while. And when they break, I keep the metal pipes just for supporting plants and other things. But I had got quite a few. So those metal pipings on this greenhouse racking is what I was pushing in the ground to support those hoops. But I've also used canes which obviously you can just buy really cheap from Wilco's and they work just as good. And the piping that we use is water piping and the netting is debris netting like what you see on scaffolding. And basically that's just a case of going on eBay or somewhere like that shopping around and finding the best bargain. Since building those hoop tunnels we've had a lot better success at growing brassicas. Not a single butterfly has got into those tunnels. We've had no trouble from pigeons. They just can't get to your plants. I'll run that video again showing you how I put these tunnels together. So let's get this area prepped. Get a bit of a rake now. If you haven't got any of these, uh, don't worry because you can still use thick pieces of cane. It'll work just as good. So we need to get these in ground around about the same height. And the more of this that's sticking out of the ground, the taller your tunnel will be. Try and keep them as straight as you can as well. We're also going to be using this, it's just blue water piping that you can buy, but it's really strong and very flexible. So these are hollow, obviously, so we're just going to slot them over the top of those. stable already. Make sure you cut all these to the same length as well. There we go, pretty quick and easy to do. And already cropped quite rigid, but we're going to put a cane across top to get a bit more support and to stop the net from drooping inwards. Ideally, you want to be attaching this cane with some tie wraps, it's the more secure, but if you haven't got any, just tie it on. Now we just need to cover it with some netting. This netting's also got a line right down the centre, which is really good because you know if you keep that level with this cane all the way, you've got the same drop each side. Now we just need to fix the sides down as well. So for the length part of it, what I'm going to do is wrap the netting around a piece of cane and then secure it to the ground with one of these. Uh, and that's because at the moment I can't find my tent pegs. I have got some somewhere. So we're just going to pin it right down with this. So 
So it's basically just rolling it around the cane. And then clamping it down with one of those. And it's pulling your net tight at the same time. So there you go, a perfectly good brassica tunnel. And it was cheap and quite easy to make. So hopefully that video made it a little bit clearer than it did previously. And the benefits that you'll get from making these oak tunnels far outweighs the cost. It's just stress-free growing. Not only can the butterflies not get to your crops and infest them with caterpillars, the pigeons can't tear out your young seedlings. So once you've planted and covered, you're good to go for the rest of the year. So hopefully rerunning that video and explaining where I actually get the piping etc from has helped a few people out. Because if you're thinking about growing brassicas over winter, you still going to have to watch out for pigeons even though the butterflies will have long gone and then come spring you're going to have problems with both so it might be worth your while investing in the materials to make some of those and have a stress-free growing season when it comes to your brassica plants anyway thank you very much for watching this video really appreciate it and if you want to see more updates that we'll be doing over the next few weeks, then please hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell, and we'll see you then. You take care.